Hmm. I wonder if I can beat the game before I have to go to work. Well, we're gonna find out. If you don't run. Ah, oh, my back. I'm getting tired of your shit, John. I'm telling you, it's the wife. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. I ain't drinking shit. Time to dip out. I know it's the wife. Leave, bro. I'll find you, Sean. I'll figure out a way and I'll come and get you, son. I can watch shitty. He didn't give a fuck about the other son. Because if he did, he wouldn't have let his dumb ass go out into the street. This is ex-wife. I know what it was. Shop. Where are you? I don't give a fuck. Oh, the useless FBI agent. The private detective and uh, Lauren did more detective work than you. You should fire yourself. Trash ass. We've got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Still on. Whoop his ass. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! That's the- that's all you got? I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Bro, both of your names are last names. You can't trash nobody's first name. 
I'm not letting you take that crypto shit. Oh, he took it no matter what. Fucking junkie. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Hey, who said you oh, changed my last environment, thing, sir? You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. That shit is annoying as fuck. Look at the clues. We didn't choose. Yeah, there go the tire tracks. Analyze that shit. Analysis? Nothing. <laughs> Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Yeah. Analyze it, bitch. Goddamn. I mean, I'm not... Can you analyze it now? The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Maybe I gotta rewind some shit. It's just the fucking sword. Nothing else you can analyze? We want it. Oh. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Yeah, I saw that watch before too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now who the fuck is Larry? See, it's not eating. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. There we go. The killer is a cop. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. It's a cop. It's a cop gun, isn't it? Impounded in a police case five years ago. The gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? Hmm. If not a cop. So it's gotta be a cop car, right? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. But that's not him. Investigate further, because the dude, his name was Larry. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Ugh, that doesn't get us anywhere. What was the gas station at, though? The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. 
you live in that zone. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. He's a cop. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Hmm. Of course he picked the black kid. When you check the, the watch, ask the chick for questions. Needed. We ain't giving up. You talking about give up? You got hella clues from this. Fuck it. Look at this video. the lady who was right next to the watch it makes no sense how is it Blake let me stay with you Scott I don't want to go Shall I go? Run away? look it'll only take a couple of days 
long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise you. See, I support this. Because it's not coming out of nowhere either. Shelby? No, not Shelby. No. Shelby, why? You could have held his head up. But I don't feel bad for him. Shelby. Whoa, well, hold up. The dude that attacked the FBI agent was skinny. Shelby fat as hell. So it can't be him. Maybe he told somebody the story of how his bro died. Are you getting rid of evidence, you asshole? No. Shelby, was it you for real? Are you serious, dude? I believed in you. I helped you get with Lauren, you piece of shit. Gordy.
you kidding me? Couldn't tell he was fat because of the way the camera angles, bro. Turn yourself in, you piece of shit. You really killed this? Why, dude? Are you Shelby? Trusted in you, bro. You piece of shit. I'll make sure you die now. Fuck it. What is your dumb ass doing? Leave him alone. You about to get killed. You can always just leave. Bro, you your small ass can't handle Shelby. You ain't even break your piece. You ain't got your piece with you. You're gonna try to lock, pick the lock. Lock, pick. Where did you acquire these skills? Bitch. Touch girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Are you serious? That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Hidden compartments. Everybody that's a villain has a hidden compartment. The 
this man has a whole fucking room. That's where he grows his own fucking flowers. Orchids. Why, Shelby? You're supposed to be the one good cop. The FBI agent was trash. Typewriter, old school typewriter and shit. Sean Mars, oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with rain, slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Shit, he needs a password. Forgive me. Max, after the dog. Got it. Max, the name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry, there's no time to lose. I'm about to get attacked, girl. Let's get the fuck out of here. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. God damn it, Shelby. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. You gonna back slap you with the gun. You can't lock it from the outside. That's not how this works. No, I'm trying to do this. type of weapon. What is plaster? Oh he trying he's setting this place on fire. We gotta hurry up. <laughs> or he trying to smoke us to death. Hold up. So I guess it's not, but it's definitely this wall. This wall over here. Created the ship and I shipped it. You asshole. Hey, slide down the thing. What you gonna try to do? I can't jump over that. Way 
too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. Don't jump. Hurry up. What is that? That's gonna blow up. Escape. Nice. Slide down the pole. I mean, that's not gonna work. Upper body strength, baby. Core strength, baby. Fuck out of here. Fuck out. Where Sean is, I've got to tell Ethan. Confirm. Who the fuck is Jaden? I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. Okay, yeah. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Shit, I don't know. No, fuck that. We don't trust. We don't trust. Law enforcement out here. Well, hold up. Eat the king fight. I know where Sean Mars is. I've got to call that FBI guy, Jaden. He's the only one I can trust. He'll be able to save him. Yeah. My name is Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. You got all that? Hold on, how did you... No, please, I'll explain later. You can call my newspaper, the American Tribune. They'll tell you who I am. Please hurry. Sean Mars may still be alive. Just don't tell Ethan about it, because he's going to flip out. All that shit. This your one last chance, Jaden, to prove that you ain't shit. A shit FBI agent. It's your one and only chance. Otherwise, you're just as bad as Carter Blake. 
Fucking Shelby. I don't want to play as this little one. Well, I'm supposed to keep him, try to help him survive as long as possible till Jaden gets there. Hang on. I'll get you out. Dude, stop fucking Did you find Sean Mars? He's, He's stuck in the well. He's, He's drowning. Asleep. Quick, help me get him out of here. There's a latch right there. Oh. <gasps> Jaden, get your bitch ass up. You kidding me, dude? You got knocked out that easily? This fat ass can't keep up with you, so don't even trip. How the fuck you get up and get the fuck out of here? Oh, he busted, huh? Goddamn, it's Shelby. Jaden, wake your bitch ass up. Pissing me off, bro. Holy There's Christ. a latch right there. Hang on, kid. I'll get you out of there. There's a latch right there. I probably didn't have to do all that, you just had to... Ah. Pull this kid up. Now you gotta do CPR. Oh, shit, he's not breathing. Not CPR, dumbass. He twisted. You're not gonna do CPR? What are you doing? You're an FBI agent. Come on, breathe. Breathe. 
You get up there so quick. Shoot him again. He probably wearing a uh, what you call that bulletproof vest, Kevlar. I don't see no blood. Shoot his ass in the head. You get what you fucking deserve. No, don't give me that. If you don't see the body, he's still alive. Hey, what the fuck is this? What the fuck was that? I know she got some brain damage. Some type of brain damage. General relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Guess, Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery and tenacity of Norman Jaden, an FBI profiler brought in to help local police. State of the art technology and his own investigator's flair allowed him to track down the killer. Our main headline today. Is Lauren's gonna be heartbreaking. Have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. I think you gotta upgrade, dude. She look way better than your ex. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us.
Our guest today is on the cover of today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Oh yeah, I forgot his name. It was Norman. I know Carter Blake mad as fuck. They ain't gonna show his reaction. Y'all just gonna let Gordy get away from him, get away with it? Hey. Hey hero. Flush that shit down the drain. You don't need that. Flush it. Goddamn right. Talking about the glass and shit too. I guess Lauren gonna visit his grave. Fuck Shelby, bro. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I didn't know. You don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. You know it's gonna get washed away, right? Cause it's rain. Why they give him this high class grave? The fuck? I want to see them again. I'm a father too. What? You just showing what happens if you don't pick those choices? The fuck? Who the fuck is that? Oh. It's the optional choices you could have made, I guess. What is this? Like beating the shit out of this therapist. Dude. They didn't even fire Blake. Thanks, you know, scissors.
cast their members. Why they went by too quick. Can I skip? I guess not.
Oh, it's finally over? God damn. Cool. I ain't doing no new story. This is the true ending. And we done. Yep. <laughs>